you need to remember one thing. See, for integral, these are the rules of integration you need to remember. Definite integral. Rules of integral, definite. If you have a a fx dx, what will it be? f a minus f a. Zero. All right. Yeah. This is yes. It's not f a integral of. There's no area. There's no area between a and a. The area is right. not there. Yes. If you have integral from a to b, f x dx. When I interchange the limits, you have done some. It's required to be interchanged for some reason x y z. If at all we, we don't know. The values, what values. We don't know. We don't know. A and B and some numbers. These are the rules I'm giving you. These are the rules of definite integral I'm giving you. But I've never exchanged it. You never exchange it, but it will be the question where it will be implied, and they'll ask you. Okay. Okay. You didn't exchange it, but it will be there in the question. Next, if you have integral from A to B, correct? Yeah. Of let's say f x hmm, plus d x plus integral from b to c of f x d x. Can you combine this into a single expression? Yeah, you can do uh, integral a to c. A to c f x d x. Yeah. No, obviously only, because is, only, only, if, only if your a is less than b is less than c basically. Yeah, yeah but also only because f x d x f x d x is the same. Yeah, the function has to be the same. Otherwise, obviously. then then only not. Obviously, otherwise you can't. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely. Next, along with this, you need to remember integral of f dash x. If you have from a to b, what is the integral of f dash x? F x. Don't forget. Correct? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. This is what you need to remember. That's what I'm saying. That we apply for derivative integration. Everything. When you're integrating something from a to b, yeah. and there's a constant along with it, what you can do is you can just write the constant out and you can take the integral. That's what you do for derivative as well. Yeah. Suppose if you have integral of 4x cubed, what is the answer of integral of 4x cubed? You write your 4 and you're simply integrating x cubed. Yeah. I mean, we are doing this so many times. Yeah, yeah. So that's exactly what we are doing over here. Hmm. So why didn't you ask for your what rule I'll be applying here? You take the constant out. Ah. So that's that's exactly my first correct. Technically it's correct, but the way you put it too out. Yeah, but you have to show that. You have to write it, no? You have to write it like this. You have to, in IB you have to show your steps. So this is 2 into 8, that is 16. You simply don't answer 16. Yeah. But this is how you need to show. Now this one, what will you do? What is the integral of uh, what is the integral of so this I separated out 0 to 3 fx dx correct plus 0 to 3 2 dx now 0 to 0 to 3 fx is 8 so this is 8 plus this is 2x integral no 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 you do that. No, first you integrate. Ah, and then you subtract. Now, because you know here the answer was zero down, it didn't matter. Yeah, that you have to show. Ah, because if it's ah, then then you can't say that. That's what I'm saying. By mistake, you can get over here. What is the first part telling you? What is the given question telling you? That if you have a function which is there, some function which is there, yeah. from zero to three. Correct? Yeah. If you, this area would be 8. Yeah. yeah. Correct? Yeah. Now, what is this telling you? What is fx minus 2? fx minus 2 is uh, 2 to the right. Horizontal translation. Two to the right. Translation. See, this is your horizontal, fx minus 2 is your horizontal yeah. translation. Yeah. Two units to the right. So, so what's happening to this case is if this goes two units to the right, and your area is remaining the same. Yeah. And you, when the whole thing is translated two units to the right, and area should remain the same. So two units. So what does the zero become? Two. Three becomes. Uh, three becomes five. Five. So what's your value of C? So that means you understood. That means yeah, what is the value of C? The boundary shift. Boundary shift. So what is the value of C? Two. And what is the value of D? Five. The value is four. 
This will be three x cube upon three. Listen, this cancel the three one plus this entire thing. The value is five. But I didn't was. Yeah, no, no, no. Three x cube upon three. Listen, this cancel the three one plus this entire thing. The value is five. But I didn't was. No, no, no. You have to do this. It's not what you did. So I integrate three x squared. Three x cube over three. Then I plug in three. So three cube minus one cube plus five. Three cube is twenty seven. Minus one twenty six. So your answer is right, but the way you present it is you have to separate this out. It's the same thing. It's not the same thing. Show me this step where you separated it out. You can't leave it as basically as that. You can't leave it as f x. The integral of the integral of f f x is not f x. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to.